Hey everyone, Neely here, senior product manager at GoDaddy by day and freelance website designer by night, here to talk to you about how to clone a website using the hub. Cloning a website should be a simple and easy process, but sometimes there's a lot of steps. With the hub, we've simplified it a bit, so it's only a couple clicks. Let me show you how it's done. So inside the hub, you'll land on your hub home dashboard. You wanna go ahead and navigate over to sites. So one of the requirements when it comes to the migrations is to have our premium backups enabled. The premium backups are absolutely free if you're using GoDaddy Managed WordPress hosting, but if you're not, you can go ahead and upgrade these premium slots here and find out some more information on our upgrade page. But we're gonna say for this, this example, our backups are free because we're using GoDaddy Managed WordPress hosting. Now we're gonna migrate this website to another website. So we'll go ahead and click on this, a WordPress site. We'll go ahead and navigate over to security. We'll go ahead and navigate over to more and then clone. And then you can see here that I can choose a date. So I have all of my backups, depending on which date I want to back up from, or I can create a brand new backup from right at this point and then migrate that over and clone that over. For the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of the backups that have already been ran. We can go ahead and click next. So you'll have a couple of options when it comes to the destination type. Uh, I highly recommend you choose one that is an existing site in the hub. And if your WordPress site isn't in the hub yet, exit out of here and add it really quick because the process makes it so much easier if it is. So let me show you how that's done. Inside it of existing site in the hub, we'll hit next. Then we'll choose the destination site. I'll just choose one of my other temporary domains. I can either create a new admin if I want to create a new admin for this account. I can also change the search engine visibility of whether or not uh, we want to encourage or discourage search engines from crawling the site. This is usually important if you have this discouraged on your development site, but you want to encourage it on the production site. So I go ahead and then just click clone and then that would be it. It would start the clone process. That's basically it, right? But let me show you the other ways. Uh, not as difficult, it just requires a little bit more information. So the same domain on a new server, we'll go ahead and click next. Uh, we can test the URL just to make sure our servers can enter it. Let me type in one that I know is live. Cool, URL tested successfully, we can move on. And then it's just gonna require your FTP information or SFTP information and your database credentials, and you can test it just to make sure it can connect. Some of the same things you can do, like you can create a new admin if you want to, you can update those search and visibility options. You can also change your database prefix too, uh, potentially for security uh, improvements. Then you would select clone. Similarly is the new site, is that same test the URL, and then the FTP and database information. But we're gonna make things simple and choose the existing site in the hub choose our destination and then click clone. We'll get a confirmation. Yes, I wanna do that. And then I'll start the process. Uh, you can close this page and go about your day uh, and return to it if you wanna see an update. So I can go ahead and move around, come back, go over to clone and I can see it's still cloning. Depending on the size of the site, it can be just a couple of minutes or it can be a lot longer depending on how much content needs to be moved from point A to point B. But that's it. That's how you clone a website using the hub, uh, more specifically a WordPress site. Again, those couple of requirements need to have backups enabled on here. Um, so if you go to clone for the first time, it'll ask you if you want to enable it. Otherwise, you can go to security and then backups, and there'll be an option to update your settings here. But that's all we have for you. This is how to clone a website using the hub. Uh, keep on learning with our next videos. 